I know it's Monday, but we have something to give you a shot in the arm to get excited about the week ahead. How exactly? Well, it's Call of Duty Giveaway Week powered by Carl's Jr. and Hardee's on The Daily Fix. That means we're giving away Rad Black Ops 3 prizes every day. And don't forget, you can pick up an Ultimate Care Package at participating Carl's Jr. and Hardee's locations where you can also win a ton of other cool prizes. So with that, let's fix it up. Warner Brothers is probably hoping the night is dark as just before the dawn because the company is now offering full refunds for PC owners of Batman Arkham Knight. Warner Brothers relaunched Arkham Knight on PC last week, but more problems popped up. So the company issued the following statement on the game's Steam page. We are very sorry that many of our customers continue to be unhappy with the PC version of Batman Arkham Knight. Until the end of 2015, we will be offering a full refund on Batman Arkham Knight PC, regardless of how long you have played the product. Man, this has been a complete mess that the Joker would absolutely be proud of. But good on Warner Brothers for offering a refund. Sony has revealed the PlayStation Plus games lineup for this month with The Walking Dead Season 2 and Magicka headlining things on PlayStation 4. Not to be outdone, PlayStation 3 owners with a PlayStation Plus subscription will get Beyond Good and Evil, as well as the amazing Mass Effect 2. It's literally my month, people. It's funny, I requested the trilogy for Microsoft for Games of Gold and Sony magically answers with the sequel. It's so good, people, so play it if you haven't already. Now, on PlayStation Vita, Sony is offering Invisimals and Dragonfin Soup, which actually will be available on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3 too. Very nice. Xenoblade Chronicles X may feature a small but meaningful difference with the international release next month. Nintendo is reportedly censoring a risque outfit for the 15-year-old character Lin in the Wii U role-playing game. Twitter user Tegaki posted images of Lin wearing shorts and a different top in the European version of Xenoblade Chronicles X compared to her bikini outfit in the Japanese edition where she's only 13 years old. Now, nothing is confirmed at this point, but Nintendo has altered costumes in the past for localized games like Bravely Default, for example. So be sure to let us know what you guys think about this whole thing in the comments below. Okay, it's giveaway time, and we here at IGN are giving away a copy of Black Ops 3. That's right, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, courtesy of Carl's Jr. and Hardee's. Pretty rad, right? All you have to do to enter is to fill out the form in the link below. It's as easy as shooting fish in a barrel, which why would you do that? I have no idea. But back on point, it's easy to fill out the form. Got it? Good. And that's your daily fix for November 2nd. I'm Naomi Kyle, and remember, you can get your fix anytime online at IGN.